thanks for joining this training. And I don't do this this type of training that often. And I think it is good to know, it is good to learn, and it's good to use. So you're probably wondering if you are new to me who I am. And my name is Jack Kopman. Actually, this slide is uh, getting old, so I like uh, to be 53, but I think I'm getting close to 54. And I have managed more than 2 million. I think it's almost 3 million now, but the slide is, is not getting updated every year. So welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm really excited that you are live on the call or watch the replay. And I did some homework, so you get to the point training tonight. So, why do you need a tracking number? Can you answer that? Why the heck would you need a tracking number? Where do you use it for? A phone tracking number. On my website? Yes. So you know what's working? Yes. In my advertisements? Yes. Protect client's personal number? Yes. I a lot of reasons. In ads? Yes. Yes. So there are so many situations that you want to use a tracking number. So for a kind of everybody, everybody don't want their cell phone number all over the internet, correct? You don't want to get those marketing calls and spam calls and not saying calls. You want some privacy. At least I want. I want kind of have a private life and a business life. Do you want the same? Is that you too? You want a private life and a business life? So, I will show it you later, but it is very good to use the silent prospector. You want to know which voice message works. You want to know if you do the voice broadcasting, how many calls uh, get responses you get. So there's so many reasons and you never want to show your own caller ID. Now, what makes it very interesting is the paper lead business. So you get paid for the amount of leads calls you generate. So if you are good in generate leads, doesn't matter if you do via YouTube, with PBN, SEO, with Google My Business, with AdWords, with Facebook, you can get paid well. The only thing what a local business is, gen is interested is ROI. ROI is leads, correct? So, this is a good business. We, we will dive in more. Now, who is doing Google AdWords? Enter yes or no. If you're doing Google AdWords, you want, kind of, you need to track the results. If you don't track the results, then you kind of are, okay, I do doing well, well, Jack told me, but I don't know if the client uh, get results. You want to know that the client get results, the client want to know that the client get results, and the client, and you don't want to waste the calls. Okay? Instant connect. Now, if you with me, you probably know what instant connect is. If you're not with me for a long time, you don't know what Instant Connect is because it is very unique. 
So I will explain it a little bit. So if the website submitter submit the form, the form get transferred to text messages and phone call to the business client. He get the information and with one press of the button, one press in, uh, on the cell phone, he can get connected with the website submitter user. So, if you don't know yet, you will learn it now. To convert a prospect is much easier when you when you connect them, when you call them um, instantly. Now, instantly doesn't need to be instantly, but how fast are you speak with a website submitter, with a prospect, how higher the chances that you do business with them. Does that make sense? It gives a very positive response, very positive. So, introducing the call portal. Now, this is a little bit hard stuff, but I want to, to just give you impression, okay? You don't need to remember it. The call portal. It sent email alerts, it sent text message alerts, it does the call recording, it, you can set up custom greeting, and you have a ringtone selection, okay? So those are five features. But it doesn't stop here. You can set a whisper message. You can have multi ring that multiple phones uh, ring, so at least one of them get, uh, is able to answer the caller. It has voice message. So if you're not able to pick up the phone, or maybe you don't want to pick up the phone, you just want to, you first want to check out if this is a serious uh, prospect. You can listen to the voice message and call quickly back. You can blacklist spam callers. Round robin. So if you are able to generate a lot of leads, you might send those leads to multiple business at a certain way to your like. Very effective to sign up new clients because you send in a couple of calls and you just call them, do you want to receive more calls. You already proved that you can generate calls. But it didn't stop here. Instant connect. So you can have email forms con uh, transferred to real calls. Text message number. So you not only can show the number as a calling number, but you can also say or text this number. So now everybody likes your text and you can just say, okay, that text message is that number becomes also a text message number, and the text message gets forward to the business. It works with multiple countries. Okay, blacklist spam calls, call analytics, graphs, and reports. So you have a complete overview: how many calls are generated, when, which day, etc. But we didn't stop here. The IVR system, so you can set, uh, speak one with the department, one speak, uh, press two to speak with the department two, and press three if you want to leave a voice message. You can have the company log in. You can even set that the call portal shows your domain, so it looks like your call portal, okay? It's not showing call CD, it's your domain. You can even generate calls, so you can use it to, to call the prospect back via the call portal or enter new numbers and many, many more. So I don't want you to overwhelm with all the features. The thing, the, the reason why I mentioned those is it is developed now since six years and over time it is to my knowledge the most sufficient, sufficient call portal I'm aware of okay it includes every feature I'm aware of that any other call portal has 
and the interface is much easier than any other interface. That is the reason why I tell it you, okay? So you don't need to wonder does it have this or does it have that? Yes, it has. Okay? It, it's, you get started with the basic like many do, but you can also, it has many of the opening hours, okay? Translate from the from the match, so you get a translation of the of the voice message and, and so many more. Does that make sense? I know it's overwhelming, correct? I didn't want to to discuss every feature in detail at this point. So introducing the call portal. Now you probably wonder, Jack, how to start. How to start? Huh? Do you want to learn how to set up a tracking number in just a couple of minutes? With so many features, Jack, is it still easy to use? Yes, it is. So I'm going to show you live because I know my portal live. I use my portal live. It's not a third party call portal what I just affiliate for, now it is our own design, own code and all the features are well um, described by myself and I use it for my own clients. So let me log in. Let me log in, the call portal. Okay, here I'm logged in. Is your old call portal being replaced by the new one? No, it's it's not replaced, it is just updated. So it has the same domain name, but the interface looks new. Okay, it has gotten a facelift and some f features added. Now, once you sign up we introduced three buttons. You see this? Button one, button two, button three. Button one is add a company. Button two is add a campaign because a company can have multiple campaigns and then add the tracking number. That is basically it. All what you need to set up a tracking number. Does that make sense? Now, I promise to demo to you, okay? Okay, now I'm locked out because time out. But luckily I saved my test call. So, add company, step number one. So let's say this is for a plumber A, B, C. Okay? First name is Chris and last name is Jones. Okay? The contact person phone number is let's say 51234156. Okay? I can enter email if that is all optional. Chris at plumberabc.com and I can enter the address, okay? Now I click on add company. You see now it automatically goes to the screen of campaign. So the number is uh, the campaign number, the, the destination number and I can have the same campaign name or I can have, let's say, plumber ABC and then say uh, this is come from Facebook or from website, okay? I can select the time zone and now I can say add a new tracking number, okay? New tracking number. And then I go to a screen what has the new tracking number. You see now on the top? I completed step number one and I completed step number two. 
Wow. That goes a little bit fast, correct? I know, but that is how easy it is. So I defined the company, I set up the campaign, and the only thing what is left is the tracking number. So the destination number is from the company. I'm going to see if there are tracking numbers to, related to it. So and now I try to find a good tracking number. So it will show you some options. And then I can either do the repeat search or I buy this number. Now you come on the added number uh, page. So we set up the company, we set up the campaign, and we bought and tracking them. And now comes the interesting part. With all those settings, what you can do uh, with a tracking number. Okay, did you see my screen? I hope you did. Did you see the screen, everybody? Tell me you did. Okay, only all did not. Okay, so luckily. So the destination number is name and destination. So that is noun. Okay, that is this is where the phone, the tracking number goes. It is, this is the tracking number I just bought and get connected to the destination number. Okay? Now the next block. Now you have the option to use an IVR set system. You say like press 1 is, I can say, a destination number. So let's say it's 561, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you now you can connect the the tracking number with multiple phone numbers from a company. Okay, so that is the IVR. We don't need that. Okay, Mo most cases you don't need if you start off, but that is option. So I am going to uncheck that for now. Okay, we don't need IVR. Tax match leads. Okay, this is what you definitely want. So in no, you no, cannot only use a number on your website to create calls, but you can also say, I want the same tracking number that they can text it. And now you can have a cell phone number forwarded, a mobile number, let's say 561-124569. So now, now if they text it, the text message get forwarded to this cell phone number. Does that make sense? So now the text match is enabled. Call ringtone. You can have the standard call ringtone, but you can also select other, other, other call ringtone and you can listen to it, okay? So nice feature. Standard is fine, but you can also use others one. Call greeting. Call greeting is somebody calls and gets a nice message. Hey, Thanks for calling Plumber ABC. We're going to forward your call. Uh, please hold a moment. Okay? Or you say this call may be recorded for training purposes. You can also enter text or you can upload a file. And if you do uh, an, an, uh, an automatic, automatic uh, text to audio file, you can say I want to have a male or female and you can select the 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 accent, okay? Either American, British, Spanish, French, German, okay? A lot of choice. Are. So now, when you call this number, you will hear this call may be called for training purpose, but you can have your own greeting message. Does that make sense? Oh my God, Jack! Is it so simple? Yes, it is. You just go over to go over those uh, blocks, and now when the company company uh, uh, receives the call, you can say call from Jack, call from your friend Jack. Okay, so the receiver now, hey, there's a call written by Jack and there is a new prospect, new client. Okay. Call ID. Now, the client can either see the tracking numbers 
or the color name okay and you have also have if you enable this you can also have that the caller can get looked up so if the client really wants to know where all his clients calling from which city with zip code you want to enable this okay that's an option voice matches and here this voice match is really the cram the cram this is what you really want to use so you want to enable voice matches and now you can say I want to enable it in 10 seconds 5 seconds or whatever so then if within those 5 or 10 seconds the call doesn't get answered the caller can leave a voice message or you can say I never want to receive the call anyway I just want all the calls direct to a voice to voice match so that is also possible if you say I only respond to voice match let's say 10 seconds now you can either upload an audio file or leave a text now comes the beauty of it you can have the voice match emailed to you so you get a you get kind of the replay the recording the voice matches to your email or and you enter here the email or you can have it sent to your text message and now the text message you get kind of instant text message and you get the replay the recording of that voice match so somebody calls leaves a voice message you get a text message you quickly listen to the call recording and then you decide if you want to call back. This is so nice features for you because you're not always available. For the business client who is on the job on the roof, doesn't have time to answer the call but doesn't want to miss a call. So once he has time, he goes over the text message, listen to his voice message and can decide to call back to the, to the prospect. So you, you can change, I don't want to click on now, but you can change the template with the text you want, okay? I don't want to leave the screen, but if you you can have the the text in the text message changed, okay? And then you click just on those edit buttons. So that is voice message is, is really the feature you want to use. Email alerts, okay, you can have email alerts for every call or for missed calls, okay, or don't send email alerts, okay, so at least you want to have for missed calls, and you can tell where you want to have it sent to. Then text match alerts, so not only for voice match, we can also have for every recording that uh, has been placed, so for sure you want to have a text match alert for the missed calls okay and once you're done you click on update this is 90 percent what you need to know to set up a number who can do this so enter yes or no this is all what you need to set up a number 90 percent there's more features but that is what all what you need to get started. More than that. This is, this is not difficult, correct? Everybody can do it. There is more. There's round robin. There's opening hours. There's always more. Okay. Is there a way to replay to a caller with text match automatically yes so if you go uh, I have to see where that is but you can you can have an automatically uh, text message go to text leads let's see uh, numbers
here when you go to edit the campaign you see here the opening hours so if you say I want to uh, define my opening hours and say my opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. okay and if if the caller calls when it's closed you can have it forward to another number okay or instead of a call and actually I like this a lot then the voice message come in place so not if the company is closed you leave them a voice message and the same thing you can have your voice message emailed or text text message and this is the voice message te template does that make sense You can also say if the call doesn't get get answered within 10 seconds, I want to have the number forwarded to another business, another business owner, maybe an employee. So that's also possible. Okay, and then you go to all numbers. And here, here you have the round robin. Okay. So you open the block and you can change the settings. That is basically always when I click on calls and you got calls in it in it you guys want to see in a, a live account where you see your uh, real calls okay let me log in another account Okay, this is a, today's the fourth, correct? So this is a live account, you see all those calls coming in. Okay. And you have those settings where you can say what happened. Okay. Yes, there's a client for me. So, um, now you see, you, you can see action, and you see, you can listen to the call replay. You see this? Action, call, replay. Or you can blacklist the caller. Or you can decide, I want to call back to that caller. Okay? And make a call. So now you're calling the prospect or the caller via uh, the interface. You can download the call. You can create reports. Okay? Okay, you can see how many calls you get. Okay? You can download it as a CSV. That interface return call would work globally, yes. Does call back to the call potter, yes. You need a headphone, of course. Headset. You can go to call details. You can listen to the call, where the call is placed, and all this information. How often they called, when they called. You see that? Call three times today. That's the number. Okay. Everybody see this? So if you want details. This is live. This is today.
So the question is, uh, now let me, showing the map details, is that new? No, it's not new. If you go to co action, call details, not not many uses, but if you want, you can you can use it. Okay, so let me go to another caller. Okay, here's the caller. You see all the details, how often they called in the past. You can listen to the replays of each call. Okay, so you can see where the call uh, is calling from. You can have YouTube, Facebook, all those kind. Okay, you can label the call. You can have each number, all numbers, can have a tag. Where is the, the tag setting? Is it on the campaign screen or let's see, campaign? You can see the source, website, default. Okay. The text message is new and for Australia you need a dedicated number. It works for Australia, but it cannot be the same number as the phone number. Okay? Okay, so who of you guys know what a round robin number is? So many do. Um, so standard, you order a number for a purpose, for one business or for yourself. But you can do kind of the other way around. You are so good to generate a lot of calls for a plumber in a city. More than one business can handle. So now you can serve multiple companies in one city. And you can have those settings like I want company one get the, the first call but because he, he pays the most. And then I can go to the second company if he doesn't answer the phone in 10 seconds. Round Robin has so many, so many settings uh, that, you, that you can't imagine. So, for example, you're looking for a plumber in a city. And you don't have, you know, you are already, your, your website is ranking, your YouTube is working. You generate calls, but you don't have a client in the city. So you just send a couple of calls to those businesses where you find on, on Google and send them an email, uh, send them an email that you generate that call. And after five calls, or you either you call them up or you put an email, a link uh, to your website, to your, to your um, marketing website, to the digital marketing team, they see who you are and you just have them contact you if they want to continue to, to do business with you to start doing business with you that you earn money. So that is another way that a business contacts you. Okay? Does that make sense? Round robin is when you connect the phone number to multiple companies. Okay? You can, you can send to five companies the same time 
and the first co the company will answer the first get the prospect so in that way you don't lose that call you you get paid almost anywhere any time simultaneously yes you can with round robin you can have five companies call at the same time and once one of those five companies pick up the phone those other four will not get uh, called anymore okay they just missed it okay that How do you balance that out? Yeah, I kind of want to avoid a little bit, but with round robin, there are so many settings uh, over time. Round robin. There's a whole chapter on itself. I can I can order a round robin number. So let me uh, sign out here and go in the test account. Do you, do you really want to uh, learn that? It's a uh, training on itself. Okay, Arlene said I got lost on the about prospecting for new clients by using round robin. So let me explain it one more time. Arlene, you are good in Google My Business, I know, because you help with the documents. You are able to rank a website high in Google My Business and you use a tracking number on the Google My Business listing and on the website and in directories. Now your website start to generate leads, but you don't have a client yet. A method to sign up clients is you Google for your niche, let's say you Google for plumber and you look for business who are paying for leads or ranking high. You're looking for plumbers in that city who really like new clients. You call that business up and say, hey, I I want you to guys some information by email and you get the email address. Okay? You have the phone number, that is easy, and you call them up for the email address if you can't find it on the website. Now you you generate that lead, you have that business from you have that business information from business number one, you have the email and the phone number. And from business two, you have the phone number and the email too, okay? Now you send them a prospecting email. You send them the lead. So you forward that call. When they, found, they found that your listing from Google My Business and they call the tracking number and they get connected with business number one. You, you connected with business number one via the round robin feature and you send them also an email once the once the phone is completed okay in that email you put your name it and a link to your digital marketing team now they not only are happy with that call they also know where that lead came from and you do that also for a couple of other businesses in the same city and you kind of do that for five calls for each business. Now they have a lot of opportunity to, to get to know you, see what you're doing, and contact you for more leads. And the one, the first company who contact you and are willing to pay for your service continues to get those calls so then you're not sending those calls to five companies you only send it to that company who is willing to pay for those leads so that is how you can get new clients that's the strategy does that make sense Aline? so that is one part where you can use round robin 
Een ander part waar je kan use road robin is, you can just generate so many leads that that client van you cannot, cannot uh, handle all those calls. So you sign up another client in the same city which can have an overload or you would split them up and so ever. So the, in round robin there are so many settings. Okay? You can order a new round robin number. Let's stay in the same city. And then let's say this is actually a nice number of two nine nine three five one zero. So continue. And now I got my uh, round robin number ordered. I can set the call recording the greeting, this call for training purposes. Okay, and call from Arlene. Okay. LLC. Okay, and I click on continue. Okay, now you can set an email alert for missed calls or do not send emails. Okay, and that is for you, for yourself. And now you want to define a couple of Company. So if you go to the uh, campaign screen, let me uh, add a uh, plumber. Add the campaign, and then. Uh, first I have to add it. Cool. So, um, plumber, plumber um, 2, okay? Let's make it simple and the destination number from that company is 561-5894. Okay, and then this we ask the email from that company, so plumber plumber2 at gmail.com and I add that campaign. Okay? Now, yeah, if I go to my round robin number, numbers, all numbers, and my round robin numbers, I go to settings, And then I uh, round robin. You see, I have those two companies. So those are the two companies. Tracking number, name. So I need to give it the name. Round robin name is Plumber Prospect. Okay, now I can add the campaign to the round robin number. And now I say I want Plumber A, B, C and Plumber 2 to the name. And I can give the name is uh, Round Robin, Round Robin Arlen. Okay, save changes. Okay, so now round robin Arlen has the one tracking number is connected to plumber ABC and plumber 2. Now, if I go to the settings, you have call options. Okay, now everything what you can imagine exists. So connect to all campaigns at the same time. You see this? What we just discussed. If you have five companies, then you uh, you can list connect to all the five companies. But uh, 
you can also prioritize who receive the calls. So if say this company pays me more than company two, then he gets priority one and the other gets priority two. Okay? You can say they, they receive an email. Okay? Or you can say forward in X seconds. So if the first company doesn't answer the phone in 10 seconds, then the next company receives uh, the call. Or you say, I don't want that company 1 and 2 receive both the calls. I want that they get first company 1 and then, first, and then the next call get the company 2. Or you can say, I have an agreement with that company and that company pays me for 10 leads per month. Okay? So after, after they receive 10 leads, company 2 gets all the leads. Does that make sense? So there's so much flexibility in round robin. I, I just wanted to show you almost anything what you uh, almost everything what you uh, can imagine exists in round robin. Okay? Okay? So that is what you can do in round robin. Now invoicing is a whole other chapter. Okay? If you go to invoice settings, this is the here comes the paper lead. Okay, here comes the paper lead. Are you guys still ready to learn something? You can have paper lead, you can pay per minute, you can have a fixed amount, okay? You can set set the how much you want to charge for it, okay? You can have a tracking number or the destination on the invoice. You can enable the tax, okay? You can have the sent to an email, okay? There are so many settings within invoicing, okay? So before you start invoicing, you go to settings and then you f just follow the screen. There's so many settings. I don't want you to overwhelm it. You can say on the edit, you can say, I want, I want the call duration at least 20 seconds. Otherwise, the client doesn't need to pay for the lead. Okay? Does that make sense? I just did that. Does it, the stop lead the delivery invoice not paid? No, that is not a setting. No. No. Never had that question. Okay. There's one setting I wanted to uh, show you before you we end the call. Instant connect. You guys want to see this feature. I, I cannot better explain than the video does and you want to hear those to those um, those real calls. Instant Connect is the website visitors submit the form, the business owner receives a text message and the call. The text message has the content of the form and can press one to speak with the website visitor. Okay? This is incredible appreciated by used car dealers, by businesses where people serve over the internet, like something and want to get more information. And the best way to convert somebody is to respond as soon as possible. Okay, within the call portal there's help, there's tutorials, okay? All makes sense. Okay, now 
of course I have a uh, promotion every weekend and last weekend kind of got messed up because I was um, not in town I was watching my daughter playing volleyball so the weekend special is when we are going pricing okay the pricing is uh, one dollar per number and four dollar toll free and two cents per minute okay and then $20 uh, per month. Now, the specialist, I want you to learn this, okay? You need to get used to it and you need to kind of know that it exists and what you can do. This month, I pay for you, I really pay literally the tracking number this month. I pay, you can set up three tracking numbers and I pay you that for this month, okay? And I also pay for you thousand free minutes this month. Okay, so I don't have a problem that you and don't use it after the within the within the first month. Okay, I do have a problem kind of if you don't take action. Okay, that you don't put the effort in it to learn it. So I make it so much easy for you to uh, get used to what you just learned that you that you do it by yourself one time now if you are a silent prospector user you really want to use it if you go to the voice drop system you will see on the campaign screen we just added a plus sign and in the plus sign in the plus sign you uh, see the call replay so you can see how many how many successful leads you had had and how many calls you return and and of course if you send 100 voice drops you will have here a lot of uh, responses so the call portal really integrate with silent prospector and shows which voice methods uh, really works and also we discussed last week the voice broadcast that you can also prospect businesses with land numbers and he and and um, prospect them with the voice message either directly or to their uh, um, voice message system and all is integrated okay so I know it's a little bit overwhelming um, there's so many features. I hope you saw that you do 90% of all the work by just following three steps by setting the company, set up the campaign, and order the tracking number. And you go over that added tracking number screen. Everybody can do this, okay? Everybody can do this. And otherwise, there's always Karen or me who can show you. So, I don't know which two products you mean. Silent Prospector is another product than the Call Portal. The Call Portal is integrated in Silent Prospector to track results. Okay? They are linked together. Okay, so... You kind of want to take benefit of this special... Um, where is the pricing? This month you get three free tracking numbers and this month you get thousand free minutes. So you I pay the bill for you this month, okay? I really do. This costs me money. That is not kidding. So Call portal is, is, is call CAD is the, the application, the call portal is the website name, okay? Everybody get the, the URL now from the call portal? Enter yes, enter no, one, two, three. So with that set, 
I really appreciate your guys' attendance and moreover, I really appreciate your guys' questions and, and interaction. That helped me a lot to uh, explain the things. Oh, is the call portfolio white labeled? Yeah, so one thing, I don't know, on the account, you can go to white label and then you can enter a domain name and then uh, for, I believe, for $20 extra per month, you can show your own domain name. I already have the call seed. Why do I need this? You don't need it. It's the same portal. It's just, it just a new interface. Okay? But you want to use it. Okay? That question indicates you're not using it. Okay? So, with the, on the account, you can do white label and then it shows your domain name. So if you want to sell it as your portal, you can do it. Does that make sense? So with that said, I really appreciate your guys' time and question and take action and next week I'm going to go over the three service I uh, s offer, sell to my clients. So you will be able to do that too. Thanks everybody and check out the call portal and take advantage from this uh, special deal. Thank you so much.